axial flow compressor as the name itself suggests the direction of the air flow is axially going out that means the air will go like this straight in a centrifugal compressor what used to happen in a centrifugal compressor the air used to come straight but it used to rotate and then it used to go what diagonally like this okay readily bahar jata tha na beta air aata tha and then it was rotated and then it used to go readily outward as it used to go readily outward so ye kya hai beta ek radial motion hai isliye naam centrifugal but here axial flow means you have to remember that throughout the compressor the air is going to go in a linear path so see over here what will happen is the air will enter from the front okay the first blade that you see over here are called as the inlet guide vanes the purpose of the inlet guide vanes as i have drawn over here you can see the purpose of the inlet guide vane is to direct the air flow at a proper angle on uh, in your centrifugal uh, sorry in your axial flow compressor rotor okay i'll tell you why this angle is important in a bit but right now just understand that inlet guide vane kya karega beta it will take the air and it will direct the air at a proper angle onto the blade okay then what will happen is this will uh, air will enter into the center uh, into the axial flow compressor and then these are different stages first stage second stage third stage fourth stage so there are various stages okay so to all the stages the air will go behind okay what i have not shown in this picture properly is that this area see from here to here right now what i have shown is that they are having the same length okay but just because it's an introduction but actually what you will see is that this length is decreasing okay so what uh, what will happen is the air which is coming from the front has to pass through this entire stages and then go out and what we will see is that this area see ye wala jo dikh raha hai na beta shaft okay the spool spool right now i have kept it at the same diameter okay but in actual aircraft what you will see is the spool ka diameter will keep on increasing so what will happen is as you go be, uh, backwards the rotor will start becoming smaller 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 in size okay so that decreases the volume which is important for decreasing the pressure so how it is going to work the air is going to come into the first part okay so after the inlet guide vane the air will enter into the rotor blade okay so the one stage consists of one rotor one stator rotor is the part which is connected to the spool which is connected to the turbine so when a turbine will rotate the rotor will also rotate okay so rotor is rotating Okay, what you have to also remember that the space between two rotor blades. See, these are the rotor blades, right? The space between two rotor blade is divergent. So when the air enters the divergent section, because of the increase in the area, the pressure will increase. So there will be a high pressure air coming. What does this stator do? What stator will do is it will again direct the air at a proper angle onto this rotor. Okay, please try to understand what is happening over here. The air comes over here, goes into the rotor. Rotor is rotating. so it will change the direction of the air but the stator has got a purpose of directing the air at a proper angle one rotor and one stator together will make one spool one rotor one stator one spool so that way you can have many number of stages over here okay the compression ratio of this type of engine is 1.2 is to 1 that means if you send 1 14 psi pressure inside over here you will multiply 14 into 1.2 that will be the answer at the end of the first spool Again, whatever is your answer, you multiply it by 1.2. That will be the pressure at the end of second stage. Again, you multiply it by 1.2. That will be the pressure at the end of the third stage, and so on. At every stage, this will keep on happening. Okay, let us understand the aerodynamics behind this. As I have told you, that the compressor or blade are basically like a wing. Aeroplane ka wing jaisa hota beta, exactly like that. So see, here this is the inlet guide wing. Okay. you can clearly see they are of wing shape that is aerodynamic shape aerofoil shape okay so the air is coming here look at the space between this this and this ye area ko dekhte rehna okay so what the inlet guide vane do is its first purpose is nothing main purpose of the inlet guide vane is just to direct the air at a proper angle okay so the air is entering over here it changes the angle of the air okay so this is the angle change we don't have to deal with the vectors so don't go into the vectors as you don't have that in class okay now what will happen is you are rotating the rotor so rotor is rotating like this correct so when the rotor is entering the air which is entering inside the rotor will enter like this okay look at the region ye area dekho beta inlet ka area aur ye area dekho you can clearly see that this inlet area is smaller this outlet area is bigger so because of this change in the dimension we are getting a divergent section see clearly drawn over here smaller 
larger. So we will get a divergent section. As the divergent section is there, you will get a higher pressure air outside over here. Then what will happen is this pressure air because the rotor is rotating in this direction will have a rotational this like this. Okay. What the stator will do is they will change the direction and for the next phase they will direct the air at a proper angle. Vectors we will not deal into vectors because we don't require it as far as like this. So just understand air is coming inside. Road, uh, inlet guide vanes are changing the direction and guiding it at a proper angle. It enters the first stage. Then the first stage it will rotate at a high speed divergent section. Pressure will increase. Stator divergent section a little bit pressure increases, but that is not our main concern over here. We don't require to increase the pressure in the stator. We just want our stator to do one work. That is to direct the air at a proper angle onto the next stage. Understand better? What will happen? Suddenly the air came. It was proper angle. We directed it at the first stage. Pe. First stage of goal will be there because of the change in the dimension. Here the area is small. Here the area is big. So pressure will increase. High pressure air. Then what happens? Here the air comes out. Here the rotor discharge. Then what happens? Here the stator goes inside. Stator will change its direction. It will guide it at the proper angle. Pe guide kare ka to the rotor. Why these angles are important? We'll just do it in a bit when we'll do the next one. Okay. Now just understand that that rotor blade, as I told you, oh, what they are doing over here is increasing the pressure, and every stage I am getting a pressure either one point two is to one. Okay. So for a centrifugal compressor, you have to remember that they are very expensive because there are so many delicate rotor blades, right? It's a delicate design. So it is more susceptible to the foreign object damage. This is a DGCA question. That is, suppose a very small stone flies into this engine, entire engine can be damaged. Okay, they are so susceptible to the foreign object damage. Compression ratio per stage is low, one point two, because in the centrifugal compressor we were getting six or seven is to one. Compared to that, one point two is very small value, no, for per stage. But overall compression ratio of the engine is very high because I can have many stages, one behind the another. In fact, if I require, I can have a uh, Two type of uh, that I can have a split compressor, one at a low pressure, one at a high pressure. I can have three spool, I can have four spool, I can have multiple spool. So that will keep increasing the pressure in the centrifugal compressor. Sorry, in an axial flow compressor, not in centrifugal compressor. It is a complex design that is a disadvantage, and they are hard. Okay, when the compressor blades are see, they are the rotor, right? So if this fitment, where the rotor blade is attached to the disc, this part is called as the disc. Just a second. Yeah, yeah. This part is called as a disc, and the rotor blade is attached to the disc. So when it is attached to the disc, the attachment is called as a dove tail. Dove is a bird. Uska jo tail ka shape hai, bata exactly the shape of that bird tail. Okay, hence it is called as a dove tail. Okay, very important DGCA question. You will also study fir tree in the turbine, which is the next class. I'll uh, draw and show you the diagram of that perfectly. But right now, just understand that. Dove tail is for the axial flow compressor, fir tree turbine. इतना ही याद रखो. Dove tail का design देखो क्या होता है. Like this, a ball-like structure over here, and this is our disc. In a disc, a blade, a rotor blade is attached. Okay, and the stator is attached to the casing. The stator blade, as you can see over here, they are attached to what? Casing. Okay. So first, we understood what is nozzle guide. Uh, sorry, inlet guide vanes. They direct the air at a proper angle. Now understand what will happen when the air is going backward. Okay, the air pitchy pitchy jata rehta jata. If I have a smaller angle over here, okay, angle of attack in this blade has a smaller angle of attack. What will happen is I will get a low pressure area over here, high pressure area over, here, correct? And behind this I have a stator. Suppose I have a stator in such a way that the low pressure of the stator is in the low in the front of the low uh, pressure of the Rotor will the air go backward? It cannot go right. So this here is a cascade effect. So to overcome the cascade effect, what we do is we will pick the rotor and the stator in such a way that high pressure of the rotor is in the front of the low pressure of the stator. So what will happen is this high pressure can easily run over here. High pressure easily runs over here. High pressure easily runs over here. Otherwise, it will create a block. Understood? What is the cascading effect? See. Okay. So to overcome this, you have to increase the angle of attack. Okay, you increase the angle of attack. Okay, but if the air mass is not available, what will happen is the first or second stage will work properly. Third stage will stall. Okay, because it's a wing, right? normal like a wing shape. No, aerodynamic shape is like a wing shape. So it will have the same problem as we have in the wing. That is, it can stall. So stalling, you already know, right? So 
let us just do this drawing once again. Let us understand. This is a aerodynamic sweep wing. When the air comes in the fan, if it separates out from the surface, it creates a turbulent effect. That is called as a stalling. Okay. So whenever the stalling takes place, air flow is what disturbed. We cannot get a proper amount of the air flow going backwards. So to remove this stalling effect, what I have to do is I have to ensure that my uh, stages are made in such a way that I don't have this problem. Okay. So to overcome this, what we are doing is we are installing a blade like. Okay. Now stalling is a very big concern. Okay. तो स्टॉल की वजह से क्या होता है बेटा कभी कभी जो पीछे का एयर है वो क्या हो जाता है हाई प्रेशर में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है और जो आगे से एयर आ रहा था ना बेटा फ्रॉम दी फ्रंट देर इज दी एयर कमिंग राइट सपोज दिस स्टेज इज आर स्टॉलिंग सो दे विल नॉट अलाउ दी देर वुड बी टर्बुलेंट फ्लो ओवर यूर राइट दे विल नॉट अलाउ दी एयर टू गो बैकवर्ड सो वॉट विल हैपन इज दी दे विल क्रिएट अ प्रेशर इन सच वे दैट दे विल ट्राई टू पुश दी एयर इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड एज दी सर्जिंग समझा बेटा सर्जिंग क्या होता है व्हेन द एयर इज ट्राइंग टू गो बैकवर्ड्स वन आफ्टर द अनदर से सी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इज दिस इज कंप्रेसर ओके द एयर इज ट्राइंग टू गो बैकवर्ड्स सो एट एवरी स्टेज देयर इज अ प्रेशर राइज ओके सो सम टाइम व्हाट हैपन इज द प्रेशर राइज ओवर हियर बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मास ऑफ द एयर फ्लो इज लेस इट्स इन सच अ हाई वैल्यू दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग बैकवर्ड इट पुशेस द एयर फॉरवर्ड ओके तो ये जो फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन में एयर को पुश कर रहा है ना बेटा ओके द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन इन व्हिच इट इज पुशिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द सर्ज ओके एंड इट हैपेंस एट अ लोअर इंजन स्पीड लोअर इंजन स्पीड मींस व्हाट व्हेन यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड योर एरोप्लेन ओके दैट टाइम द आरपीएम इज वेरी लो राइट सो एट अ लोअर आरपीएम द फॉरवर्ड स्टेजेस आर वेरी मच एफिशिएंट ये जो स्टेजेस होगा बेटा फर्स्ट और सेकंड स्टेज दे विल बी वेरी मच एफिशिएंट बट दिस स्टेज दे आर नॉट दैट एफिशिएंट so here what can happen is high pressure air will come but they are not rotating at a very high speed right so if this rotor is not rotating at a high speed it will not be able to compress that air so yahan par ek high pressure area create ho jayega beta ye high pressure area isko aage ki taraf dhakka marega that is called as the choking of compressor okay remember that that is called as the choking of compressor very important aspect okay so ye choking of compressor ko hum log bolte hain compressor surge ho jana okay now when the compressor surge is taking place what i can do is i can have a bleed valve okay what this bleed valve will do is it will just open over here in the middle stages okay it will open and whatever high pressure air was created it will throw for example look into this diagram if suppose i get a high pressure area over here in the starting okay that is not allowing the air to go towards the combustion chamber i don't want that to happen So what I will do is I will open a bleed valve here, and whatever high pressure air is available, I'll remove the high pressure air out of it. So the air which is available here is now of low pressure. That low pressure air can go forward because RPM is low, and as the RPM keeps on increasing, what will happen is the stages efficiency will keep on increasing. More the RPM, more behind stages will be efficient. Okay. So what will happen is initially, when you start the engine at the beginning, forward stages are efficient. rear stages are not efficient okay so you increase the rpm as the rpm increases forward stages become less efficient backward stages become more efficient okay so isse kya ho jata hai beta kabhi kabhi surge ho jata hai stall rate so to overcome this all effect no what the manufacturers will do is no forward stages ka jo rotor hai usko low angle of attack pe rakhta hai piche ka jo stages hai usko high angle of attack pe or what i can do is i can split the compressor into two parts Okay, I can make first part as the low pressure compressor, and I can keep the second part as the high pressure compressor. So, ये वाला area क्या करेगा बेटा? Low pressure के ऊपर work करेगा. इसका जो outlet है, उसी outlet को लेकर हम लोग क्या करेंगे बेटा? High pressure compressor में डाल देंगे. Okay, this is called as double spool or dual spool. First spool is called as the N1. ये N1 spool है बेटा. This one is called as the N2 spool. If this rotates at a higher speed, this rotates at a slower speed. The air which is coming. first turbine is called as a high pressure turbine high pressure turbine will rotate the high pressure compressor ya fir n2 spool less turbine is called as a low pressure turbine low pressure turbine will rotate the low pressure compressor or you can say n1 spool okay that is the dual spool you can also have three spool beta you can have another pressure compression uh, compressor over here okay then you will have three turbine okay that is how you can increase the pressure 
okay this will also uh, this will do two things it will allow, avoid the surging effect as well as it will try to avoid the stalling stalling as i have already told you what is stalling when the air is trying to enter you are increasing the angle in such a way uh, angle of attack increases in such a way that there is a turbulent air flow so to overcome the turbulent air flow what we can do is it generally happens at uh, the front stages only so we can have a variable inlet guidance vigv so igv you have understood what is the function of the igv is to direct the air at a proper angle onto the rotor blade now variable inlet guidance means what they can be varied as per the speed of the aeroplane i can increase or decrease the angle of igv so the angle at which the air is entering into the rotor blade can be changed so that's how we can control the stall so in the beginning what will happen is igv will be a uh, close that will it will allow less amount of the air to go forward okay bleed door is completely open in the beginning okay as the engine speed starts speeding up what will happen is bleed door will start closing up ig will still start opening up that means angle will start increasing over here bleed door will start closing or i can have a variable stator vane now here when i taught you stator vane i told you that stator vane are basically used to direct the air flow at the rotor right igv we fix also fast stator vane fix also so if when the igvs are fixed they are called as inlet guidance but when we can change the angle they are called as a variable inlet guide similarly i can have a fixed stator or i can have a stator which can change its angle so that will be called as a variable stator vane function will remain the same that is to direct the air at a proper angle reducing the compressor stall this is a dgca question according to the dgca to avoid the compressor surge your answer should be bleed wall to avoid the compressor stall your answer should be either you can have a variable inlet guidance or variable stator vane or what you can do is decrease the angle of attack of the front stages or the best one is divide the spool in uh, divide the engine compressor into two spool or three see this picture is clearly showing you so the front stage is the low pressure compressor next is the high pressure compressor and similarly behind we will have two stages of that okay that completes everything that you need to know about the axial flow compressor nakuri now what manufacturer did you know they saw that the centrifugal compressor is the one which be, which will give me a high pressure ice per speed but axial flow compressor is more efficient so what the manufacturer do, uh, designed you know for the smaller aircraft and for helicopter or propeller driven aircraft they have uh, designed a special type of the engine where we use the combination of both this okay bell 412 helicopter they use this type of engine pattern with me 16 okay so uske uh, andar kya hota beta ye air inlet hai okay so air inlet is coming first it passes through the three stage of axial flow compressor so here axial flow compressor every stage pressure i will be 1.2 1.2 1.2 and then i'll pass it to the centrifugal compressor so what i'm doing is i'm decreasing the size of the engine the engine size is compact but i'm still getting the high pressure air okay then this high pressure air goes into the combustion chamber here we have got a reverse flow combustion chamber hence your air is going backward and then enter okay and there's a combustion chamber where air and fuel mixture is burned and then this air and fuel exhaust gases will come and they will rotate the turbine from the turbine they will go out you can see that it is just connected to the one turbine not physical connection is between just one first turbine and the compressor so this rotation of this turbine will cause the rotation of this compressor whereas when this turbine is rotated this turbine is called as a free turbine or you can also call it as a power turbine okay the free turbine is the one which is connected to the gearbox gearbox is connected to the propeller or in case of an helicopter what we'll do is we'll connect a free turbine to the bevel gear and bevel gear will be connected to the shaft which is going upward and that shaft will rotate the rotor of the helicopter that's it okay do you have any doubt i'm unmuting you beta if you have any doubt let me know 